Yeah, so this is actually gonna be a real easy video to make uh, today <laughs> because this is gonna be a video all about how I didn't watch the State of the Union address last night. I know, right? That's crazy. How are you gonna comment about something that you didn't watch? It's because let me take let me take a guess. I haven't seen any clips. I haven't seen anything from the State of the Union address. I've seen people post kind of quotes about it. So I've kind of gotten an idea of it, complaining, you know, about Joe Biden, me and Joe Biden, which I understand that's some people's bread and butter, but it won't be me. They bled my mama, they bled my papa, but oh Lord, they won't bleed me. But let me take a guess at what he, let me take a guess at how it went, okay? Uh, Joe Biden probably had a few times where he, his words a little bit, <laughs> probably some indistinguishable sentences and, and, and words sputtered here and there. Um, probably an intensely awkward, squinty glance like this. <sighs> Where he looks at you like he's like a, I don't know, in a, a Clint Eastwood like spaghetti western or something like that. I don't, I don't know what the jig is with that. But um, yeah, uh, he probably, you know, he probably talked about how he came into a very, very hard situation in America. And the improvements that have been made under his administration are massive and tangible. And not only that, but then he would go on to talk about how much better things are going to be getting in the near future because of his works, which that section that I'm wrapping up right now should be something that all presidents do in their State of the Union address. Uh, <laughs> even if it's terrible afterwards, are you really going to step on that stage and be like, listen, guys, we messed up. Woo, boy. Wow. Would you look at that? No, come on, bro. Like, that would be crazy. I would not, like, you would, you, dude, the world would panic. Like, the United States would panic if the president really got on stage and did that. So, you can't pretend like you expect him to do something that transparent. I don't know. I can't, I don't think that's the best word for that situation, but we'll leave it where it lies. Let me guess. Uh, I would assume that he avoided the Chinese balloon situation in totality, if not saying somehow that they promptly took care of the issue in a, uh, you know, in a, in a timely fashion and uh, disposed of it appropriately. That's just, just, just an assumption. And let me see if there's anything else that I could imagine that he got into probably made some creepy joke, some weird, awkward joke that didn't connect with anybody. Like nobody actually understood what the joke was supposed to be about because he's very good at doing that too. So those are all the predictions that I will throw out there. But I say all this to say that if I was right on <clears throat> any of that, it's probably because if you've seen one Joe Biden State of the Union address, you've seen them all. And I've just, I... You know, I make fun of a lot of people. I'm not going to pretend like I uh, am even the good, the best spirited of fellows. Um, but I'm going to be honest with you that I try not to go for the lowest hanging fruit. So <clears throat> all of the people who are going to be spending their days or their time today creating videos, making intricate commentary, uh, you know, tearing into the things that Joe Biden said uh, and, and, you know, pointing out the hypocrisy and laughing and making fun of at every stutter and stammer. That If that's your lane, man, do that. But it's just like, that sounds like such a waste of time for me. I'll be honest with you. <clears throat> I almost didn't even make a video about the State of the Union at all. Um, because yeah, I, <laughs> you know, feel this way, but then I was like, you know what, if you feel this way, maybe you should say this, maybe you should offer this perspective and maybe, maybe people will be like, well, you should still pay attention. I I'll be honest with you. I'm probably still going to watch the state of the union address at some point, just out of pure curiosity. 
I just didn't rush to it to make commentary about it the next day talking about how much of a buffoon our president is because it's like dude that ticket is very played out and i understand a lot of them are doing it um to keep it fresh in people's minds as we approach the new election but uh i will be honest maybe i'm giving my viewers too much credit but i think that you guys know and are retaining the way that you feel about joe biden right here. I don't think that this is a lesson that will be easily unlearned. And I'm also not going to say that everything that happened that is happening right now is directly specifically Joe Biden's fault. There are a lot of moving parts right now. And the truth of the matter is, it's because <clears throat> the average American did not care about America or our political system enough to do anything to push the needle to a better place. But slowly but surely, People are paying more attention to politics and whether they're on the Democrat side, whether they're on the Republican side, the more and more people who are actually paying attention to it and not blindly voting and are seeing the consequences of the decisions that they make or their fellow Americans, that's what's really going to influence change here. I'm a 28 year old male and I will be honest with you, I have never voted in a presidential election thus far because I thought that the last presidential election was a joke and everyone before that I just really had no interest in. But now I'm very much paying attention. And as I've currently stated many times, Ron DeSantis has my vote, even though he hasn't even announced that he's running for president yet, which is the funniest part about all that. <laughs> which is why you know the boy's got some juice. I mean, literally. People like Donald Trump are trying to tear down Ron DeSantis for a potential presidential campaign and he hasn't even announced that he's running yet. That's how you know you have the juice. I'm just going to leave that there. Uh, as a Floridian, I'll tell you what. Boy, I love it here. And every time that I, I'm at my place of work and I talk to somebody on the phone <clears throat> who lives in any other state and, I t and they ask where you're from, part of me dreads telling them because I know that they're going to be jealous. They always are. They always sound like, oh, oh must be nice. Yeah, it's lovely. It's so lovely to live in a place where you choose to move to. And I didn't even choose to move here, but uh, because I moved here when I was very young with my mother. But I did choose to stay and I choose to pay these super high rent prices to live in Tampa Bay, Florida. And yeah, it's beautiful. Man, we got really far away from the State of the Union address here, but that's because I didn't watch it. And I'm saying all this to say that it's really beating a dead horse at this point continuing to go on about joe biden now if he said something specifically crazy and don't get me wrong here i'm talking about addressing him in his commentary i'm maybe a little bit late in this video i probably lost people who are gonna be like oh man this dude's caping but i was i do want to say when it comes to actually talking about the documents and stuff like the, sh the the things that he's doing that are illegal or should get him removed from his position yeah we should investigate that with the fullest diligence like with you know what i'm saying like that yes but making fun of an old man for being old and weird like we're too far like we're not gonna get him out of office because of that like that's not that's not gonna do anything so you know he's an old fart yeah it's obvious but um yeah that was my take on the state of the union address that i did not watch and if you feel uh differently or if there's anything that a uh, note of significance that you think I should uh, pay attention to in the State of the Union address, if I do happen to watch it, let me know what part, uh, if there was any important bits in there. But yeah, as far as making fun of Grandpa Joe, Creepy Joe, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'll do that when it when it uh, suits me and when it doesn't, I'll uh, pay it no manner.